Welcome back. I am here again. Still a little under the weather. Not going to be a time lapse episode like the last one I put together. I'm actually able to talk this time with all the sniffling, sneezing, coughing, hikey, stuffy head fever stuff. So um, we're going to see how far we get today. Maybe it won't be very far. Maybe it will. We I don't know yet. Um, so I want to start over here. This is where I'm going to put another house. And this is actually going to be a big mansion. Something I'm picturing maybe the mayor's house, a nice big two-story mansion right here. It's going to have a good view of the city all the way down. Once you get up a couple levels over this fence, you've got a good look at everything. So I thought this would be probably where the mayor is going to put his house. And I've also gone through here and kind of did a layout of the first floor. So let's walk through that real quick. So I got, this would be the entrance. So this would be like the foyer greeting area. I picture having a stairway here going up to the second floor. And this is like a little sitting room on this end. And I, I've just got this little square marked off. It may end up not being that once I get all done with it. But you've seen some of the places you come in the front door. And you don't immediately go into the house proper. You go into a little sitting area where they come out to greet you. And if you're so privileged, you get to go back to the rest of the area. And also, this area here would be a dining area. A nice small, small dining room here. And a small library over on this end. So, it's not too huge, but it is properly laid out and then this is a hallway it goes all the way down and I picture maybe like restroom pantry closet kitchen area here kitchen is bigger than the dining room so I may swap that around and make the dining room bigger and the kitchen a little smaller and then back here would be a little bit of a garden area so that's the first floor second floor uh, same type of layout except it's mainly just uh, bedrooms and stuff so we'll have a, once you go up the stairs, you'll have a few bedrooms and a big master bedroom looking out over the rest of the city. So I'm just going to lay out, so let's just start, and this may change as time goes on because I am not sure, I just sort of laid it out quickly, but it's not precisely, so I didn't get like graph paper and graph it all out, I just went through here and put torches and uh, use my shovel to mark out where the rooms and stuff would go. Like I said, I have been having a cold for the past few days, so I'm not totally on top. So if I start wandering off, you, you'll know you'll know what's going on. Although I did notice this uh, cold is like the common cold. You know, more of a normal code. Code? Normal code? I can't talk. No, a normal cold. Um, I don't know. Well, the last few years, everything has felt like a flu. Whether it's uh, the flu or the China virus or what have you. Um, it's always been the achy body aches, fever, that kind of stuff. Just miserable feeling. This stuff, this is like an old-fashioned, just uh, runny nose, sniffling coffee type thing. Um, a little tired and stuff, but not, none of that horrible, you know, body aches and stuff you get with the, you know, headaches and all that you get with a flu. So this is, this is actually like, you know, Alka-Seltzer type stuff. Not Alka-Seltzer, is it, uh, is it Alka-Seltzer? NyQuil, NyQuil type flu. Although Alka-Seltzer does make a cold medicine too, so. So but it's that kind of that kind of flu, not the I'm going to, you know, I'm going to die because I got the flu flu. This is I've got the sniffles and I'm just miserable flu or cold. So but anyhow, and it kind of messes. It kind of makes you a little discombobulated. So let's see. So we got so this would be the main layout. So that looks pretty good. I'm just trying to. So we'll come in here. Let's uh, put some floors in here, I think. 
I'm gonna go to dark floor. I'm gonna do spruce for the floors. Let's do this. So let's say this would be the front entrance. That's pretty big. That's a pretty big entranceway. Would there be chairs and stuff going through here? And then this would be a hallway down this way. So if I'm thinking hallway down this way. And then, like I was saying, library over here. It doesn't have to be a big library. It's like a library den. So maybe the door would be in the hallway here. So we got here. So this would be... So you go in here. This is where the butler or whoever would greet you. And then they would seat you back here into the sitting room. So maybe the sitting room would be here. Like this. And then maybe this part here would be stairs up to the second floor. So we got to go up to a landing on the second floor. Let's see, do I have any stairs? I do have some dark oak. So we're going to try dark oak for the stairs. Let's see how these go. So Yeah, so if I do stairs like this... You know, I can always clean out this later. Here. Oops. Yeah, that might make a good... Yeah, that would that'd be fine. And then... And that would give you... Uh... That would give us enough room, once you get to the top, to have a hallway. Yeah, so there could be a room over here in this area. And a little wall walkway goes this way. So we have a landing here. And then the hall would go out that way. And then there'd be rooms on either side. Would the master room, would the master bedroom be on this side maybe? Maybe the master bedroom would be here at the top of the stairs. I think I'm going to have to, I thought I was going to put like a little garden back this way, but I believe we're going to expand this all the way out. Well, that would also lend... Yeah, so if we have the wall here, uh, like there, I don't know if it's going to be spruce or not, but that's the wall. So we got the this, take this out. So the library would be a little bigger. We have a parlor here. So this would be parlor area here. So this would be the main, like, the sitting area where guests come in and are, are entertained. So it's kind of away from the rest of the house. But there'd also be a door here that goes under the stairs. And that would lead over to the library. So the parlor and the library are somewhat connected. Like this. Actually, I don't need uh, this one here. Yeah, so this would be wall, 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 wall here. I haven't figured out what the interior wall is going to be yet, though. Now, let me get the some sleep out of here so it's you know, I got some sunlight. Because I know 
There are some spawnable areas around here. I have been creepered while I was going through here. And I don't want to be blown up. I'd rather take a cough break too. So, so my time is uh, short here. I did go through. Um, I replaced the cobble. Because I like the cobble here. So I'm making the walls dual thick. Because I want the outside to look different than the inside. So like for the outside here. Where's my other... Must have been there. I'm going to put these mud, mud bricks. So we're going to have... Kind of a mud brick exterior. I may have to make a bit more of those, but I've been using the uh, mud bricks that I got. Not got, but uh, in my the clay farm that I created. Uh, it's also set up really easy so I can put the uh, dirt down and make a lot of mud. And then I can use all the wheat from the wheat fields to make the, these bricks. So the outside is going to be that. This here is going to be a front porch. I don't know if I said that. This is going to be a porch. So that's why I'm leaving it open there. And then the rest of the walls are all going to be mud, mud brick, packed mud. I may have to cut out windows in different spots. But that is the, uh, the general look. There. Try not to sneeze. You don't want to hear me sneeze. So if I jump away real quick, I'm doing a sneeze break. So that's just kind of a general look at the walls. How's that look from the outside? I think that's going to be fine on the outside. I'm going to do these some dark oak uh, accents on there. Probably a dark oak porch. So then you get in here, this is where we get to the, the inner wall. So like the inner wall, we got our sitting area. It's going to be like this. So we have a nice green, like, I guess you'd call it wallpaper there. And I can actually get rid of it. I don't need that. Um, let's get a, uh, here. Here. Get that cobblestone. That's my waste brick. I don't need the cobblestone. I've got plenty of cobblestones right there. I'll have to figure out how the windows will go through here. Maybe put the glass down and put the put this on top of it. But that would be so like our sitting room would be green wallpaper, like this. And I'll put pictures and stuff on it so it's not totally uh, one solid color but that's how I'm going to do the interior walls so like this would be the doorway here so that's the doorway in you know even out here this block this off and this could be you know entry with nice little white a white entryway here the front door now we get trickier when we get into this side over and heat this let's say I want the dining room to be blue I would probably have to do like one wall blue this wall since it's going with the entryway I think I would have to continue that white like this oops do it again I just don't want to waste my concrete. So maybe something like this. And then now the hallway is going to look quite different. Because we're going to have this going through here. There'll probably be a doorway here for the to go to the kitchen so they can bring food in. And probably another doorway. Probably over here, like this. Yes. Even here, I would do this, like there. And I might even just go all out here, do white, like that. 
and then you have a sitting room. Then you get into the library area. Library is going to be a different color altogether, like this. So that kind of gives you a good idea of what I'm going for. That's why I've got the thick walls on the outside. I can do double thick on the walls so you can have actual uh, interior walls and exterior walls. I don't, you normally don't do that. At least I haven't seen a lot of people do that in Minecraft. So I think that's kind of a challenge because you got to make everything a little thicker and a little bigger. And I, you know, probably should do double walls on the inside so you can have different walls on either side but i don't have i really don't have that much room well if i don't put any garden up here i probably could get away with double walls because i'd have to double this wall up so i'd have another one there move this out so i could double these walls up because i'd have two there double wall here double wall here So I could leave this the same size and then double this up. So move everything over all the way over there. Oh, it's snowing too. And it's dark. I'm going to have to clean all this snow out. But that gives you a good idea of what I'm going for. Unfortunately, I need to uh, call it for a day. My uh, things are catching up with me. And I need to take it easy for this episode. But we will be back in the next one to continue work on here. Uh, might be a little more slower going than normal. Well, actually, probably about the same speed I normally go when I'm healthy. But uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.